will discuss the new point diffraction of light. Here, S is the monochromatic source and choose here one of the spectral AB and C the AB. When light source they emit the light and incident on this AB obstacle, we get the geometric shadow on this screen. That is the bending of light. Nothing but diffraction, nothing but bending of light. Also in this case, in second case, here is a one of the sleep AB and geometrical shadow we get here. That is a bend. The phenomenon of bending of light around the corner of obstacle and spread into the geometrical region. This is a known as a diffraction. Diffraction having as a two two types. That is a Fraunhofer diffraction and Fresnel diffraction. In Fraunhofer diffraction, source and screen at a infinite distance. And in Fresnel diffraction, source and screen at a infinite distance. In Fraunhofer diffraction, by using biconvex lens, we get a plane wave first, and in this phenomena uh, used here to get a source at infinite, infinite distance. That is a we obtain the plane wave front by using this biconvex lens, which is a placed at a focal point of the uh, focal point of the this screen is placed at a focal point of the biconvex lens. Now, it is an important point we will discuss here that is a fraud of a diffraction pattern due to the single slit. Here, AB is a slit and light plane wavefronts incident on this slit. Here, many number of points act as a secondary source of light and this light, incident light, incident on again this biconvex lens. Choose here, suppose this ray A2P0 and B2P0. This path will be same, that is, we get here central bright point or central bright. So, now let us discuss central maxima or principal maxima. That is, Maxima, central maxima or principal maxima, when we get the part difference A2P0 and B2P0 will be called, uh, will be 0, then we get the P0 is point will be the bright point. Now choose another way which makes the angle along OP0 that is a theta. This another way is that this one A2. P, O2, P and B2, uh, P. This point will be bright or dark. Now, part the difference between these two rays decide the point will be bright or dark. Suppose, draw the geometry here. This is a theta. And uh, we know this Bn is nothing but d sin theta. In previous lecture we have already discussed this will be d sin theta or sorry a sin theta because we are choose here uh, distance between c that is a a so a sin theta. Now we will discuss the position of the first minima position of the first minima here a to p and n to p part will be equal and this part is as bn decide the point will be bright or dark or position of the first minima suppose bn will be lambda Part the difference Bn. Part the difference Bn. 
is equal to lambda. So this C will be divided into two parts equal AO and BO. From these two rays we get here P point will be minima when this part upper half whole part will be partial difference will be lambda by 2 and here lambda by 2 that is partial difference here at the point P is equal to all multiple lambda by 2. So this P point will be minima or first minima. So we can write lambda is equal to d sin theta. General equation n lambda is equal to d sin theta, n is equal to 1, 2, 3, etc. Now, position of first maxima, third point is position of first maxima. Suppose this B and path will be odd multiple lambda by 2. That is a D sin theta is a odd multiple lambda by 2. Then this point P will be break point or first maximum. That is we can write D sin theta is equal to twice n plus 1 lambda by 2. So we get these conditions for central maxima path difference will be 0 and for position of first minima path difference that is a lambda 1 lambda 2 lambda 3 lambda etc. And here position of first maxima we get the path difference d sin theta is equal to twice n plus 1 lambda by 2. Then next point will be width of central maxima. Here we get this is a central maxima. So choose here. Choose here. Suppose this lens will move toward the slip. Then F becomes capital D. So this we get this triangle. From this triangle we can write tan theta tan theta is equal to y upon d and here suppose theta is very small and in uh, that sin theta here from this equation we get sin theta is equal to lambda by small d and as compared to this theta which is a very very small we can tan theta we can write tan theta is equal to sin theta is equal to theta so compare these two equations 2 and 3 we get y upon capital D lambda small d so y we get y is equal to lambda capital D upon small d. But I want to calculate width of central maxima. In this we have is like that, right? So, this will be the upper part, right? Next half part. So, width of central maxima we can write twice what? Width of Central maxima. So twice y or with omega is equal to twice lambda d upon small d. 